Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. First, I just want to say thank you to everyone that subscribed to my channel. You guys are just beyond amazing. Um, so in line with that, I'm just going to go ahead and have a giveaway for the items that I used in my last DIY, which is the Radiant Mirror. So if you'd like to enter, please go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll announce the winner in my next video. So let's go ahead and get into this DIY. I have two inspirations for this DIY. This is a dining table from West Elm. And also I have this clock table that I purchased from Home Goods from several years ago and this is a conversation piece every time we have guests over and I could never ever find it again at home goods so here are the items that we're going to be using for this DIY you need a wired basket two from Dollar Tree you would need a wall clock of your choice I purchased this from Ross for $9.99 and of course you're going to need the E6000 glue um, I do not advise you to use um, hot glue because the E6000 glue adheres better so the first thing that you want to do is just go ahead and apply the glue to the bottom of the basket and the middle of the basket and next we're going to be doing the same exact thing to the second basket so apply the glue to that and then we're going to align both um, bottoms together so you want to make sure that um, it's properly aligned and um, you can apply additional glue to the inside of this just to make sure that it properly adheres to um, to each other and just leave it to dry and next we're going to be applying some glue to the top of that basket so you just go ahead and apply your glue all around that and flip it over onto the bottom part of the clock and I'm going to also measure the space between the basket and the clock the, the opening of the clock just to make sure that it's properly centered so we're all good for that so next we're going to be applying the glue all around um, the bottom part of this basket to make sure that it properly adheres to the clock so you can uh, apply as much glue as you want this is the bottom part so anybody's really not going to see it and I'm applying pressure here to make sure that it properly adheres and you just leave it to dry the next step is optional you don't have to do this um, but I like bling so I'm gonna be adding a little bit of a bling wrap to it and here's the end result I really really love the way this turned out for $12 we have a side table that really works well with my space here I hope you guys enjoy the video if you did please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and if you're new to my channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you love to see more DIY videos like this and I want to thank you guys so so much for watching this video and I'll see you on my next video Bye-bye.